Hello and welcome to the 75th Law q on my channels on Facebook and YouTube. Thursday last week I had the great opportunity to see uh, Barack Obama himself live uh, speaking in Cologne's Lanxess Arena. He came to Cologne as part of the uh, World Leadership Summit, which is usually something I try to avoid with a lot of motivational speakers and leadership clowns that uh, offer advice for a lot of money. And indeed it was a lot of money, uh, tickets for the event were very highly priced. I said the farthest possible uh, distance and uh, together with 14,000 other people and still it was about uh, 80 euros, like a hundred dollars uh, to hear. But despite the price, also despite the fact that I had to endure uh, a couple of speeches before he came on stage, it was absolutely worth it. It was such a relief um, to have someone who at one point was the leader of the greatest nation on earth and has real experience, to hear him speak in full sentences and sane. It was just unbelievably comforting to see someone like him on stage, to have a leader like him on stage and be reasonable. And in his speech, or in, it was actually not a speech, he was interviewed, um, it was very clear on, on all the dangers that, that our current world faces, the dangers in, for the environment. He's very aware of the dangers that comes uh, from the rising of populism and, and white right-wing politics. He's very clear on that we need to really put a lot of effort in to fix uh, gender equality. Um, he's very clear on the importance of democracy for humanity as a whole. It was just such a relief to have someone who was no longer in power but was in power to speak and be reasonable. Not believing in superstition, deeply rooted in science. And yeah, all in all, it was just so heartwarming and it made, it absolutely made my day. I'm glad that I went. Um, I mean, here in Europe, well, currently, if we, if we look east, uh, I mean, Saxony is slipping away from democracy, Poland is slipping away, Hungary is slipping away, uh, Austria is on the verge. Uh, difficulties in Italy. Uh, if we go further, Putin is, from my point of view, a clear dictatorship. Russia is a clear dictatorship with Putin as the Tsar. So there is danger from especially stupid white old men who fear for their privileges, who try to roll back the progress we made just for the fear of losing their privileges. And then having someone on stage who's actually well-spoken, well-educated, can speak in full sentences and do logic and can deduct things. I mean, it was such a relief, such an unbelievable relief that gave me back a lot of hope in, in humanity. Um, as like I said, we need to focus uh, on the environment. Our Earth is in danger. We need to work on uh, gender equality. Otherwise, uh, the society will not heal. We need to forward, work on all other forms of, of diversity. Uh, and we really need to work together to stem the rise of right-wing populism. So, all in all, I mean, I was uh, totally amazed. Uh, I really enjoyed every single minute uh, of his speech. I'm very glad that I was fortunate enough to be able to be in Cologne at that time having the, the funds to be able to to uh, afford listening to him. Um, but part of that is actually you know, the people who, who organized it. Not entirely my, my favorite cup of tea. But um, long story short, uh, the um, organizers made it very clear that, I, that they do not allow uh, video recordings and do not allow any photography uh, probably to recover costs uh, and the inner German and me kind of obeyed okay maybe not the inner German maybe it was more like all the guards they put up um, 
but so I did not record any video of, of him speaking but what they didn't specify is that I couldn't record audio so I'll leave you first with uh, his most memorable quote from from Cologne and Berlin and then with a couple of audio snippets hope you enjoy at any given point but cumulatively what we can say is each year becomes warmer and the science tells us that that means that you're going to see stronger uh, hurricanes, you're going to see more wildfires, more heat waves, more floods, more natural occurrences of this sort. And it is already happening and it's going to continue to happen. So, uh, the most important thing I think we have to do is to start voting for concrete plans around these issues not just vague statements. And young people, I think, understand this because they're the ones who are going to be living with this longer than us people with gray hair. And, uh, and that's why when I talk to young audiences, I, I always say to them, look, um, you wouldn't let your grandfather decide what you were going to wear or what music you were going to listen to, but you're going to let him decide what happens to the environment that you're going to be living in? <laughs> and so hopefully I still had some time to be productive, uh, and I asked myself what would be the thing that would make the biggest difference, and, and there are a number of issues I care deeply about. I care deeply about climate change, I care deeply about growing inequality in our societies. Uh, I care deeply about uh, education and, and providing opportunity for, uh, for all children. Uh, but what I thought I could uniquely do is to try to train the next generation of leaders. Thanks a lot for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.